Hi there Virgo, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings, so if you're interested please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future, it's still going to be a love reading, okay Virgo? So can I get the past energy for Virgo please? Three of Wands showing up in reverse. The King of Wands, okay. Interesting. And the Magician. What's going on here? Now the present energy. The Ace of Cups showing up in reverse, though. With the Three of Pentacles showing up in reverse. And the Eight of Wands showing up in reverse. And now for the future energy, the Two of Pentacles. Future energy for Virgo. The Hair Font with the Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. And then the overall, the Sun. That's the happiest card in the deck. So this is talking about happiness, and especially when I'm looking at all the cards here, it seems like it is pointing towards that, okay? So you're in pursuit of happiness, there's a lot of positivity in regards to your energy here. When I look at the past energy, I see the Three of Wands in reverse, and the King of Wands, and the Magician. This is someone trying to manifest you into their life here, okay? This is someone that um, appears to be very confident, with the King of Wands, but there's like, um, this person lacks patience or it's just someone that when they make decisions, they make it really fast, okay? Uh, and that's the past energy. So you can even resonate to this, right? That maybe um, in the past you found yourself, even though you're an earth sign, right? You know, like just really taking an in initiative towards things here. But uh, when I look at the present energy, I do see the Ace of Cups showing up in reverse or the Three of Pentacles showing up in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. So something has slowed down here. So I don't know if it's in regards to your love life here, but there's some confusion regarding it, okay? But when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on. Uh, but I do see a brand new opportunity for the future energy. Brand new opportunity, possibly commitment, or it could be talking about a spiritual connection and you having to make a choice or you're weighing your options here, okay? In regards to what it is that you want, right? But let's clarify the Sun card. I don't know if this person lacks patience, but it's just like someone that when they make a decision, they make an abrupt one or it's just, you know, like fast. Three of Wands showing up in reverse, right? But let's see, when I clarify, the message could change. This could even be you not wanting to wait for something with the Three of Wands showing up in reverse. Okay. So let's clarify the Sun card. Look at you. This is you really taking charge. Hmm. As a Queen of Swords here. There you go. The Ten of Swords showing up in reverse. Oh, the Lovers. Interesting. This could even be talking about brand new beginning in love here. I feel like you, you might have had a tough past, right? Where there could have been a pain, but I feel like you're overcoming that. As the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're trying to be logical, practical as well. But there does seem like there's a brand new beginning in love here with the Lover's card. Interesting. Let's clarify the Three of Wands in reverse for the past energy. It's like the most recent past. You could even be going through that even now. Okay, so don't... This is just an easy way for me to organize the reading. The Four of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Hmm. So I feel like, especially if you went through a tough time in the past here with the Ten of Swords showing up in reverse and you had to overcome something quite difficult, I feel like you were done waiting possibly for... Um, this could be you and manifesting love here. Right? Because I feel like something wasn't made right with justice in reverse, okay? 
uh, you may have gained clarity towards a specific situation here. And this could be even potentially you letting go of something with the Four of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Um, this could even be someone. So there could be two messages here. There could, this could be. So if you're dealing with this King of Wands energy, this is someone that wants to be a lot more open in regards to their feelings here. Okay. Especially if they didn't make things right in the past. So take it as is. Look at that, the Ace of Cups. So this is really talking about even you possibly manifesting love here. Okay, brand new love. This could be even how someone's feeling towards you, wanting this brand new beginning in love with you. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of cards, but I'll take it. Nine of Pentacles showing up in reverse. Death in reverse with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay. So this pr could potentially be someone wanting this brand new beginning in love with you that did not possibly put enough effort or time into this connection, okay? Um, and for them, it's not quite over here with death in reverse, okay? But when I see the nine of pentacles showing up in reverse, I feel like you had to go through the healing process. Especially if things were not made right in the past with a specific energy, okay? So let's clarify them. Wow, the cards are just wanting to. The Hermit in reverse, the Page of Cups. This could be someone. Three of Pentacles. This could be someone wanting to offer you an apology and work things out here. Okay. Um, I'm picking up on that. That's like a heavy energy of someone just wanting to be open, express how they feel here. Okay. Um, they want this brand new beginning in love with you. But, uh, and they don't want any sort of resistance here. There's, this is talking about a potential someone wanting to offer you their, their cup or an apology here and wanting to work things out, okay, um, with you. So I feel like the both of you are not together in this one. But let's clarify the present energy with the Ace of Cups in reverse. So this person wants this brand new beginning in love with you. Why is it? There you go. King of Swords and Queen of Swords. So this is really talking about two people that are trying to be logical and practical as well. Okay, um, I feel like someone does want to communicate and take action here. But um, right now I feel like that's not, they're not rushing in quite yet. Okay, with the Knight of Wands showing up in reverse. This could be someone thinking about it, okay, with the, Knight, the King of Swords. So they could be... I see the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So this person is trying to be logical, I guess, practical. So it's possible someone in the past wanted to work something out and it didn't pan out. So let's clarify the Three of Pentacles showing up in reverse. The Magician. So someone does want to... There we go, the Tower. So someone's been hit with some sort of Tower moment of realization here. And I feel like... The Queen of Pentacles is showing up in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone wanting to manifest major changes. So this could be even you manifesting love, okay? This could be even you manifesting major changes, right? Um, especially if things were not going as great as you would like. But I feel like this could be even someone wanting to manifest major changes in this connection, okay? So let's see. Let's clarify this Eight of Wands showing up in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so someone's positive, feeling positive here. Oh, look at that, the Emperor in reverse. Uh, and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What's going on here? This could be some... Uh, so I see the Eight of Wands in reverse with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse and the Emperor card in reverse. This is someone that acknowledges a connection, right? There is an acknowledgement of a connection. They're not ignoring this connection. I don't know if they're waiting for the right time here, okay? Like there could be a timing issue, they're waiting for the right time. To take action or to communicate here. Okay, for some of you Virgos, I feel like you are trying to manifest uh, major changes within in your own life, especially if things were not going, you know, as um, smoothly as you like here. So I feel like this is you manifesting happiness, okay? A brand new opportunity, brand new opportunity in love here. But um, 
Wow, no, so this is someone, <laughs> as I'm talking, this is someone that wants to communicate here, okay? So maybe they were stuck at a crossroads. Maybe they were, like, uh, confused, okay? Um, this could be someone really wanting to, yeah, someone was is, was being patient here, okay, with temperance. Um, this, this could even be someone having to heal their heart space here. But I think they've made a choice here in regards to communication, okay? Definitely wanting to be balanced, okay? Let's clarify the Hierophant card. Yeah, this is someone... Let me just get two more cards before I say anything. Wow, this is someone that wants to make you an offer here, okay? Um... Yeah, this is someone that's coming in from a, you know, not not a not a, a place of conflict, okay? So especially if you're dealing with someone from the past here, okay? Um, and something didn't work out. And there may have not been any sort of communication. This is someone that's wanting to, like, tr really um, manifest, like, major changes within this connection here, Okay? So this could have been a connection that you deem to be very special, okay? With the lover's card, the Hierophant card. But it's like someone coming in, possibly... This could be even a shy energy that wants to come in. Someone wanting to be tentative. So I do see a brand new opportunity in store. Wow, that just flew right out. One second. There you go. There's your King of Wands again. So this person wants to possibly... Um, giving me like a restart vibes three of swords and rever you know what i mean there you go the ten of cups well virgo i'm, I'm not picking up on it this, okay you could be dealing with someone new okay um or someone that you've not known for quite a while but this is giving me certain vibes uh, about someone uh trying to manifest you into their life here possibly wanting to to offer you their cup um, there's some things that needed to be healed here. This is someone that wanting to express how they feel, open up more, right? Uh, and they're possibly waiting for the right time. And they're trying to manifest major changes in this connection, especially if there was stagnancy or not really much movement or progress in this connection. So I feel like this person is going to come in tentatively, okay? And I feel like it's this King of Wands energy, okay? Uh, and they want this happiness with you. So I do see the overall energy as being happiness here. So you could be dealing with a potential fire sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I do get Scorpio. Um, there, there could be even Sagittarius here. Aries, Taurus, another. Could be another. Any, any sign really. But it's like this person is determined, you know, to achieve this Ten of Cups with you. All right. Especially if there was pain in the past. I feel like that, that has healed. There could have been time that was needed in, in order to heal whatever pain it, there was between the both of you. Because I'm, I'm getting that sort of vibes here, okay, Virgo? So I hope you got better insight into the situation, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.